What ranks highest on your fear list? Is it death? Snakes? Or maybe public speaking? For most people, financial fear is one of the unspoken and often unresolved fears in their lives. In this video, we explore financial fear and how you can resolve it and live a less stressful and satisfying life coming up right now. Hi, I'm Manyara Kirago and this is Money Skills, the channel that informs, educates and sometimes challenges conventional thinking to help you manage your money better and ultimately transform your financial life. If you are new here, please click the subscribe button and the bell icon to be informed whenever I upload a new video each week. Remember to stay tuned in right up to the end of the video to receive a free bonus. Chances are, whether you know it or not, financial fear ranks high on your fear list. And there is good reason for this. Money can have a profound and inescapable effect on all aspects of life. It is a well-known fact that without some measure of certainty of how one would pay for one's needs, it is difficult to cope with family and societal obligations responsibly and adequately. Financial failure usually results from loss of a job, inability to work due to ill health, collapse of a business, or as a result of making mistakes with one's money because of ignorant or irresponsible management. A tiny fraction of the general population attains enormous wealth, usually through ownership of a successful business, but few have the talent, resourcefulness, or sheer tenacity needed to achieve such heights of success. There is another class of people whose income, whether from employment or from business, is not particularly high and they do not possess any special talents. Yet, somehow, the people in this group seem to live uncomplicated lives, they own reasonably good homes, educate their children, and end up comfortable and secure when they grow old. Although the dream of becoming super rich may be very alluring, for most people, it is more advisable and more productive to aim for these kind of achievable goals rather than to chase elusive mirages of wealth. The very fact that these people, who are just like you and I, can achieve financial security indicates that they follow principles that work. To manage your money successfully, one must plan their finances, control their level of debt, use debt responsibly, save and invest. Uncontrolled debt is a major cause of financial fear. Controlling one's level of debt has intrinsic, material, as well as personal benefits. The first benefit is security. When you are not overburdened by debt, the threat of your property being auctioned to pay for creditors does not hang over your head. This reduces personal stress. It is often said that financial difficulties contribute to the development of stress-related illnesses and marital difficulties. Materially, an individual with a low debt level is able to accumulate more items or save more for the future. This is because the money that would have gone towards interest payments is freed up and can now be more productively used. Another benefit is that you will be able to qualify more easily for financing for important things such as a mortgage for your home when you have a low debt to income ratio. Personal benefits are numerous, but for many people, the most important is that they feel in control of their lives. This is the opposite of being chained to repayment schedules, working month after month for your creditors rather than for yourself. Making responsible use of credit requires an understanding of when such debts are appropriate. The first aspect of this is whether one is able to make the required installment payments without interfering with the savings plan. As a rule, total monthly debt repayment, including a mortgage, should not exceed 36% of your income. 
The next consideration is a reason for borrowing. In general, it is more advisable to borrow for things that appreciate or to enable you increase your income. Borrowing for a house, university education, or a business is fine if prudently done. These prudent people also plan for their family's financial needs way ahead of time. In fact, someone once said that rich people plan for four generations to come, while poor people plan for Saturday night. Start saving and investing for your newborn's college education right away. And also for the deposit for your house years before you are to buy it. And for your retirement right from your first salary. This does not mean you live a miser's life. What it means is that you use a budget to control where your income flows to and you make deliberate choices. Your budget should reflect the balance in your financial life, including all your planned expenditures, including entertainment and your savings. Your savings should be channeled into investments appropriate to your financial goals. Investments Investment is not a goal by itself, rather it's a means to achieve a goal. Make sure you understand that any investment you put your money into and also you seek the advice of an investment professional. Never follow the investing crowd blindly. You may end up finding out too late that the crowd you are running with are sheep being herded into the slaughterhouse. Even in well-planned lives, unpredictable things happen and they can devastate even the most valuable portfolios. The first line of defense is an emergency fund between three to six months of expenses. Protect yourself and your family from the bigger vagaries of fate by purchasing appropriate insurance covers including health, life, property, personal liability and disability covers. Think about the unthinkable by preparing a will. A will significantly reduces the trauma that survivors undergo when their loved one passes away. People who earn an average income and live a down-to-earth lifestyle and have no dazzling talents yet succeed follow these basic principles whether they know it or not. Again and again they prove that one does not need to earn a huge salary or own a huge business to live well. Plan your finances and banish financial fear from your fear list. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please like, share and also click the subscribe button and the bell icon to be the first to know when I upload a new video. As a bonus, I have a free report, the top money mistakes Kenyan professionals make and how to avoid them. To download this free report, follow the link below to my website. I look forward to seeing you next week. Goodbye.